Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 26th day of February 2023, I need to take you over to JM Bullion so we can check out where those spot prices end of the week and then get to some amazing and fantastic news out of the United States Mints. And yes, I'm talking about the weight room. And you're probably like right now, what is this dude talking about? Well, I'll tell you why. Now let's head over here to JM Bullion. This is the 2023 American Silver Eagle Coin. I wanted to talk about the premiums, right? We know that silver took a, well, a hit along with all the other precious metals on Friday, if you're paying attention. So we had gold down 591 to 18, 19, 32. Silver down to 21 even, Stephen. I think we're going to see 20 before we see 25. Platinum down 35, 28. That's more than silver's worth to 929.56. And palladium went down 28.56, more than silver's worth to 1474.4. Now, here we go with the premiums on these American silver eagles. So we're looking at 35.67 to $21. What's that? 1467 right there, right away. So yeah, the premiums have gone up since the price of silver has come down. Boom, shakalaka. Now, over here to the bullion sales from the United States Mint, and they had an opportunity on Friday to go ahead and let us know what, well, what sales they had, and well, nothing, no new tale to tell, folks, at the United States Mint. However, they did drop some on us yesterday. There was a new tale yesterday about the weight room, the virtual weight room, folks, and um, maybe some people are unhappy about this. Some people don't know how to feel about this yet, but here I'm going to give my take, and uh, well, I like it. I like it a lot, and I think it provides us all an opportunity. Opportunidad, I'm telling you. it's This is great news, okay? Just follow along. Now, it says uh, this is... Uh, Meet our new virtual waiting room. All right, here we go. We are excited to announce the addition of a new virtual waiting room. They're going to call it wait room. All right, one word. To our catalog website. You know the catalog website. You've been there, done that. It's this right here, okay? Now, the wait room will ensure the best possible user experience when we release our most popular products. Okay, so I'm going to start thinking about what's going on with what they're telling us. So obviously for the big, big products coming out this year, the Morgan dollars, the peace dollars, and so on and so forth, they are going to be employing or deploying this weight room. Okay. Now, when the uh, we will deploy the weight room whenever we expect site traffic to exceed its capacity so that the site can effectively take and process orders. And now it says here, if you've ever purchased high demand concert tickets or a highly anticipated video game console, then you'll probably experience a virtual waiting room. And I know all you numismatists, numismatists out there are always buying concert tickets and video game consoles, so you know exactly how this is going to play out. Now, what's interesting about this, folks, um, the United States Mint is definitely putting their thumb on the scale. We have no question about that, okay? They are taking, the, and they did it to us last year when they made it more equitable for the people who wanted the American Women Quarters when they took our enrollments down from 10 to 5 to 3, correct? Okay, now we can only get 3 on the American Women Quarters, PDS, P&D, and so on and so forth, all right? So the Mint has had their thumb on the scale. Uh, uh, to the people who are normally loyal, okay, the loyal folks at the United States Mint, but here they go, you know, you know, and sometimes it feels like, you know, when you're looking at dealing into business and a company's trying to get new business, it seems like they treat their new business, their new friends better than they treat their old friends. Well, maybe this feels like this, right? But let me let me tell you something. This is huge. Uh, I, I got to tell you. And I'm going to put this together for you. And I think you'll change your mind if you don't like this by the end of this video. And I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just trying to give you a different perspective. All right. It says here, the weight room premiere. Oh, boy is on March 2nd, folks. If you don't know what March 2nd is, well, we're looking right here at the American Eagle coins, right? The regular one and the one from the congratulations set. And I got to show you what's going on with that. Now, here's what to expect. And I really don't know what to expect because they really, this is, I mean, they're saying what to expect, but really, I mean, can they, can that, can the U.S. Mint set up these expectations and answer all these questions right now? Like, do I need to be logged in? Okay. To even let this happen? To, to get into the waiting room, or do I not need to be logged in? Um, uh, I, here, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm really excited about this. Now, it says here, now, when the product releases at noon Eastern time, right, just before the release, okay, 11.59, I don't know, 11.58, five minutes before, 10 minutes before, 15 minutes before, I don't know. All customers on the site, all of them, even if you're just perusing and you don't even want the stuff on the drop, Right. And so if you're just, you know, bumping around the U.S. Mint website and you're looking at enrollments or subscriptions or something and then, bam, this happens, you get put into a waiting room. Did you like that? Not probably not. Now, each visitor on the site at that time will have an equal chance of being either first or last in line. What? There's that thumb on the scale thing I talked about. I'm going to read this again. This is huge. 
All right. Just, this is they're setting up expectations, folks. I'm telling you, just before the release, all customers on the site, I don't know why all, but whatever, will be moved into the wait room and assigned a random position in line. Each visitor on the site at that time will have an equal chance of being the first or last in line, though. I'm telling you, that's a thumb on the scale. But that's not that bad, actually, because if you think about it, and I'm going to get there, you're going to be stoked. Now, at 12 p.m. Eastern, the wait room be will begin letting site visitors onto the catalog website as quickly as possible while simultaneously ensuring the site's traffic does not exceed capacity. Okay, that's fair. So isn't this more like a lottery? You know, you, uh, you get your little uh, number, and if they call your number, you're, you're hey, come on down first, you know. Um, this also reminds me of, you know, I think back in the day, Ticketmaster would give out wristbands to all the people who showed up, and then they would be like, okay, everybody with this wristband on is going to be first in line. So, I mean, yeah, you know, this does have the possibility of, you know, somebody on the inside um, determining the order, okay? That would be heinous, I think. You know, so we don't want that. We want that to be as random as possible. We don't want the thumb on the scale with the random order. Now, it says here the wait, uh, wait room will begin letting site visitors onto the catalog website as quickly as possible simultaneously. Now, it says here, customers who arrive on the site after 12 p.m. Eastern time, release time, will be added to the end of the line. Okay, that's fair, right? First come, first serve. That's when that takes over, but not before noon. Now, it says here the wait room will remain active until site traffic returns to normal levels. Does that mean the next day, within 24 hours, like they do with the household order limit? I don't know. But they give some important tips, and I thought this was pretty uh, interesting. It says here, it does not benefit you to camp out on the site by arriving hours early on release day. Now, it says here, uh, what's camping out to you, right? So camping out, um, uh, yeah, here we go. I think this is camping out. Nope, that's definitely not camping out. This camping out, yes, this is camping out. And that's kind of the image you get when people say, you know, this is camping out. That's an Apple store, and here's people waiting in line all day, all morning, all night, whatever it was, to get to the latest product drop. Okay, so that's that. I don't know how I got all those other pages jumbled. That's okay, though. Now, regardless of your time, the session started right so if you were there before 12 o'clock all right everyone on the site just prior to the 12 p.m release will be given equal treatment by receiving a randomly generated position in line i'm telling you it's a lottery now once you're in the wait room you'll be given an estimated wait time based on the position in line here we go folks and i made this mistake on the uh, royal mint website where i actually refreshed the page and i had to get back into the wait room so that was pretty rough it says here do not refresh the wait room page or close your browser if you do your session will refresh causing you to re-enter the wait room at the back of the line you don't want that now it says here and this is something that i thought that people who were um into um you know who might have some challenges with some accessibility it says complete your transaction as quickly as possible you know i know i'm pretty sure that a lot of people may you know may be able to get that uh transaction done within 10 minutes but what some people may not, right? So it says here, to prevent inactive sessions from taking up places in line, we will limit customers' time on the catalog site after exiting the waiting room. Ouch. So what if, I mean, what if what if we're just watching the Mint's website? Uh, do we get booted uh, if we're checking the numbers? It says here, if you have not placed your items in your cart and started checking out within 10 minutes, you will be moved back to the wait room and to the back of the line. Nearly all transactions on popular release days take less than five minutes. And that is true. But some folks do have a hard time uh, sometimes. And we have seen it in live drops. Sometimes the drops take, you know, 15, 20 minutes in tries. Now, it says here, product availability is not guaranteed to customers who enter the waiting room. You know where uh, you can find that uh, product availability is when you do the subscriptions, okay? So when you do the subscriptions, you actually get the product, okay? And the best part about that is when you do the enrollments, you don't have to do this. Smell the flower, blow out the candle. Because on drop day, that's going to be pretty tough if you're not subbed into that. You could get anywhere in line, and that is rough. And let's fake, let's face it, folks, this is an obstacle. An obstacle is the thing that blocks one's way or prevents or hinders progress. Okay, this hinders our progress because it, well, it throws us into a random lottery. When we were there early, you know, when we usually get these things within five minutes, I mean, really, if, 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 Nearly all transactions on popular release days takes them less than five minutes. Why do they need this, right? 
I don't know either. It says here to avoid the weight room entirely and ensure the continuity of your collection, we strongly suggest you subscribe to your favorite products. 100% agree with that. You don't have to do smell the flower, blow the candle subscriptions for the 2023 American Eagle one ounce. Silverproof coin will remain open through February 27 and subs are available for many other products. Now that uh, therein lies the problem, folks. So let's go here to the United States Mint. You know, we have this congratulations set dropping on the uh, March 2nd, and as well as the American Eagle uh, silver coin on March 2nd. That proof from West Point, New York. And yeah, okay, you can sub for this, but you can't sub for the congratulations set. Now, I do know that the United States Mint did add an additional 10,000 of the congratulations sets this year uh, for the uh, American Silver Eagle program. But that I don't think is that I don't think March 2nd is the true test of this new weight room. Okay. I believe the true test that we're going to be seeing is March 6th, folks. Okay. Here we go. Now, I don't know how many people are going to be into this, but here it is. This is the United States Army medal. It's a two and a half ounce medal. And it was 160. It went up about 15 bucks to 175. All right. Now, product limit of 10,000. Now, it does have a household order limit of one, which actually is great because let's face it, that would be snatched up rather quickly at that low, low limit. However, now, if you've been collecting these, and if you have the other, uh, what is it, uh, uh, four, because this one's five and the Space Force is six, well, what if you can't get this, right? Because you were in back of the line, even though you were there that day before noon, right? Ouch, what are you going to do? Well, you got to buy it on the secondary market. Yeah, that's right, the secondary market. Do you want to buy this on the secondary market, or do you want to hit it up on the Mint's website for 175 and not, how much is it? On the uh, Mint website, 175, and how much is it on eBay right now? Yeah, check that out. 230 there, and almost double there, right? It'd be like 350 if it was double, and that is the U.S. Army Medal. Um, and if you see some of these other ones out here, um, this is incredible. 101, 205, but really the point of it is, the United States Mint. All right, and you know, let's face it. There's something called unintended consequences. All right. And I do believe this obstacle that the United States Mint with this waiting room has thrown up is going to have the unintended consequences of making U.S. Mint products on the secondary market that much more expensive. Now, going forward, you're not guaranteed. I mean, if you're, you know, basically all of us that got there early at 12 noon were pretty much, I don't know, I, I don't want to say guaranteed, but we had a great chance of getting those products. Well, not so much anymore, folks. Not so much anymore. And let's face it, if you're not en enrolled for the Morgan and Peace dollars this year, yikes, I would get on that. Um, if, if Look, if I was getting the Morgan and Peace dollars and I wasn't enrolled or subscribed yet, I would think twice about not, you know, not being enrolled. I'd be like, gosh, you know, do I really want to be out there, uh, you know, when all you know what breaks loose at noon? Or do I want to be sub for that, you know, because it's blow out the candle and smell the flower. Is that, is that a whole lot of fun? And like I said, this is going to have an effect on all the products, okay? Uh, especially the products that don't have subs, like these gold coins. These don't have subs. It's first, it's not first come, first served anymore. It's, you know, it's whatever, you know, position you get. And let's face it, there are more actually subscriptions this year than there's ever been in the United States of its history. And that's great. However, there's a lot of really cool items that aren't like the, yeah. Mm. The Army Medal, the Space Force Medal, uh, the Gold Coins, and so on and so forth. So there we go. There's some new challenges, but I think these new challenges present opportunities for sellers to get a little bit more money, but you got to get the product first, right? You can't sell it if you don't have it. So there it is, folks. I'm going to go to these plus ones today. This has been an incredible show. I had some other stuff I wanted to share with you, but I just didn't have time. Now I'm going to go here. Bam! There's Isaiah 2, 22. And I don't even have, this is so self-explanatory. It says here, withdraw from a man who has breath in his nostrils. For with what is he deemed worthy? Yeah, that's right. Who do you put your faith in, right? Now let's enter right here, the 39599.9 KOI and Coin News Radio. This is the Doobie Brothers. Long range running. Look at that. Long train running. Where would you be now? I love it. This is a great song. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by this morning and uh, this evening or this afternoon, whatever you watched. And, uh, well, if you liked it, go ahead and tell a friend. If not, you forget where this was and you just move on to the next channel, right? <laughs> anyway, son of a silver stacker. Peace out.